All right. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this session called Driving Innovation, It's the People. I'm really proud and delighted to share the Houston Community College entrepreneurial journey. We began a decade ago with one small $100,000 grant, and everything came from that, that particular initiative. And our mission has been to bolster the local economy, to grow jobs, and really build the Houston ecosystem by starting and growing small businesses. So we, we started with five strategies, and they were to hire talented and extraordinary staff. And there they are, and you're gonna be meeting them shortly because they're going to each be sharing with you their particular programs. The second strategy was taking advantage of every opportunity and winning a lot of grants. And that looks like a lot and it is a lot, but I've got to tell you that we wrote many more than that. We didn't get everything, but it certainly enabled us to amplify our work. And then most recently, just this past summer, we received a very generous gift from our entrepreneur in residence, David Regenbaum, to create the Glenda and David Regenbaum Center for Entrepreneurship at our Northwest College. We built wonderful relationships with the business community. This was one of those critical things that we did that have endured over this past decade. And we co-sponsored so many different events with the partners and those become win-win opportunities because we help them with their, their goals and objectives, they help us. And we invited entrepreneurs and residents and this is really something that David Regenbaum brought to Houston Community College and now we have four full-time experienced, successful business entrepreneurs that are now giving back to the college with their time, their energy, and they volunteer on a full-time basis. And we created what we're calling signature programs. These are really the hallmarks of our work. And so now you're gonna have an opportunity to learn about each one of them. So I'm starting with Kimberly Burroughs, who are as executive director of the Goldman Sachs 10,000 Small Business Program. And she is energetic, she's dynamic, and a problem solver who really knows how to build cohesive systems and develops best practices. Kimberly. Thank you, Maya. Since the Program's inception, Goldman Sachs 10,000 Small Businesses has partnered with Houston Community College to foster economic development in the greater Houston area by providing growth-oriented entrepreneurs with the tools and resources to take their business to the next level. The program's framework consists of three components, practical business education, participants gain skills business owners can put into action immediately access to capital by partnering with local and national community development financial institutions and other small business lenders to expand access for small business owners and business support services. Here, we facilitate opportunities for small business owners to receive expert advice from business professionals, one-on-one -on -one business advising, and a network of over 9,000 local and national alumni. The 10,000 Small Businesses Program supports alumni after graduation by providing continuing education and resources relevant to business owners' current needs. The program's impact consistently reveals small business owners that apply the skills reported revenue growth of 67% at six months and 75% at 30 months after graduation. In terms of job creation, 47% percent created jobs at six months, while 56% created jobs at 30 months after graduation. Moreover, 86% of alumni do business with each other. 
We are proud of, of our over 750 local alumni and continue to celebrate their success. Recently, we celebrated 15 alumni for making the 2020 Inc. 5000 fastest growing companies in America. Goldman Sachs Small Businesses and Houston Community College realize it's the people, the entrepreneurs that are vital to the health of the economy. Together, we continue to help small businesses scale by offering business owners immense opportunities to create jobs and generate economic growth in their communities. Thank you, Kimberly. Gabriela Zambrano is our director of our Minority Business Development Agency. This is co-founded by the Department of Commerce and enables us to grow minority-owned businesses. So uh, Gabriela is a real risk taker. She came to the college on a six-month contract, immediately showed her skills and talents, and now works full-time leading the agency. Gabriela. Hi. Hi, everybody. Again, uh, my name is Gabriela Zambrano, and I'm the director of the Houston MBDA Business Center. MBDA stands for Minority Business Development Agency, and we're the only federal program tasked to help and grow existing minority-owned businesses. Our business advisors work diligently to connect our clients with prime contractors, governmental entities, and lenders. For the past eight years, the Houston MBDA Business Center has advised 384 minority-owned businesses facilitated over $474 million in contracts, $548 million in financing, and helped create more than 12,000 jobs for minority-owned businesses. Numbers are great, but I want to give you an example of how we assist our clients. A large prime contractor was new in town and needed Disadvantaged Business Enterprise certified subcontractors for a project at Intercontinental Airport. We refer a client for the project and they receive a $4.6 million in contract. Not too shabby, right? We also assisted a client under 8A certification. After having received that designation, which is not easy to obtain, he's been a recipient of contracts totaling $4.6 million from the U.S. Department of Commerce. Agriculture, and this is only this year. So we know this client is going to go far. A client also wanted to borrow money to develop a residential property. We refer her to a local private lender, and she receive a loan for fifty thousand dollars. How do we accomplish this? It's through one of our most successful matchmaking effort is our substance sandwich event, which is an opportunity for subcontractors and large companies to meet and discuss upcoming procurement opportunities. After COVID, we pivoted our events to an online platform. This past year, we collaborated with the Houston Independent School District. For the first time, we hosted Cadence Bank, and we have educated business on forgivable grants provided by Harris County and the city of Houston. Another event that we presented, Salute to Minorities in Construction, and this is our sixth year. This event honors minority-owned construction firms and the advocates and organization that supports them. Lastly, we're presenting an online expert academy in collaboration with the U.S. Commercial Service and the Houston District Export. We started this initiative because minority business are twice as likely to export compared with non-minority-owned firms. Also, minority firms are more than three times as likely to have firm in generating 100% of all their sales in exports compared with their peers. Our clients are surviving and even prospering in the midst of recent events. We're proud of them and their accomplishment. They give our work meaning and purpose. Thank you so much. Thank you, Gabriella. Oops. Jennifer Holmes is our director of our corporate college. Our corporate college is an entrepreneurial enterprise. Jennifer took this operation, which was failing many for many years, and in two years turned it into a successful entrepreneurial initiative through her incredible ability to develop relationships with the business community. Jennifer, tell us about it.
Hello. The Corporate College is an entrepreneurial enterprise and is financially self-sustaining. We provide the Houston business community with customized on-demand quality training that specifically focuses on the needs of our clients. Our training is targeted, it's market relevant, and it provides training solutions in various business industries that is client-centered. Over the years, we have developed remarkable relationships throughout the Houston business community. When the National Basketball Association instituted a requirement that all NBA teams provide diversity training for their employees, we were selected by the Houston Rockets to provide conscious inclusion training for over 200 employees, which included the players, the general staff, and the executive leadership team. In partnership with the Asian Chamber, we developed and delivered a Mandarin executive business program to 91 Asian owned small businesses who needed the tools to help the business thrive and grow. We were also selected by Houston's Toyota Center to provide customer experience training for over 200 frontline workers and their supervisors. The manufacturing community in Houston has trusted us to deliver for training for companies such as Slumberjay, Benny Keith, Fugaro Chance, Orange Corning, and Tyco. Because we consistently listen to the existing and changing needs of our Houston business community, we were uniquely positioned to respond to the immediate training needs of our clients as we all realize the shift imposed on us by the global pandemic. We de developed a peak performance training series specifically aimed to address the challenges businesses are facing as a result of the, the crisis. The series systematically addresses the full spectrum of both ongoing and emerging training needs by that came resulted from the pandemic. Key to the success of this program was our partnership and relationship with the Texas Workforce Commission. We were able to secure funding to deliver the training for those businesses that are impacted by the COVID-19. I'd like to close with our guiding principle. If you'd like to build a long-term successful enterprise, you don't close a sale, you open a relationship because it's about the people. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. Brenda Rios is our Director of Entrepreneurial Initiatives and Community Relations at our Southeast College. A young, dynamic, creative entrepreneurial leader who really creates magic with her programs. Brenda. Thank you, Maya. Good morning, everyone. The HCC Center for Entrepreneurship at the Southeast Campus is dedicated to helping Houston individuals interested in ideating, starting and growing their businesses. And given our demographics, we focus on empowering the minority businesses in our community. According to an article published by Forbes this month, the size of the US Latino market has been increasing tremendously for the past five years. If we measured it by GDP, it has a total of 2.6 trillion in 2018 up almost 9% from 2017. If the US Latino market was its own country, it will be the eighth largest economy in the world and the largest Latino market in the world, larger than Brazil and more than twice the size of Mexico. When compared to the non-Latino population in the US, the Latino entrepreneurial ecosystem grew 4.5 times faster in terms of GDP, implying most of the US growth came from the Latino population. Put another way, had it not been for strong growth in the U.S. Latino market, the U.S. economy will have likely contracted between 2017 and 2018. In our population in the southeast of Houston, we have roughly 65% Hispanics and 35% African American. Our area is known nationwide by the injustices of George Floyd, who lived and grew up in our third world community, and Vanessa Guillen, who went to one of the high schools 10 minutes away from our campus. We honor both families and families like theirs in economically disadvantaged areas in Houston by providing resources and opportunities for growth. So our center is dedicated to the minority entrepreneurs who strive to start and grow their businesses to support their families. 
This year, as we pivoted during the pandemic and in partnership with NACI, we piloted the Amazon Small Business Academy, where we could offer our entrepreneurs a way to learn e-commerce and get ready to sell on the Amazon platform. As a result, 60 business owners engaged with us, some who have already applied as vendors for Amazon. We have also supported a local entrepreneur who's creating a platform called Common Cookery and who is addressing the digital divide by connecting diaspora eaters through a curated digital marketplace to support the mom and pop, food creators, and private chefs in Houston. And that you can't find through DoorDash or Uber Eats. They are also investing in ghost kitchen infrastructures, a unique business model in our city, and which is the future of food services in the nation providing jobs not only to our HEC culinary students, the private chefs, the small restaurants, and food truck owners eager to expand if they don't have the capital to open another location. For the Latino community, one of the signature programs we've introduced is the offering of business workshops fully in Spanish to make sure that we are the business hub known to support Latinos. In collaboration with the Small Business Administration and with Gabriela with the MBDA, we have introduced the Latinx Summit last year to bring in Hispanic role models and experts to inspire our Latino business owners and increase their access to capital from financial institutions like the BBBA Compass and Capital One. According to the Stanford Latino Entrepreneurship Initiative, Latinas have been worse off than their male counterparts, comprising less than 1% of those who receive venture capital. And yet, Latinas are the fastest growing entrepreneur demographic in the US. We know that Latinas start the most companies, but imagine what they could do if they had the support, the access, the capital, and the mentorship available to them. That's why our second and largest signature program is the HCC Women's Bootcamp, where we support women entrepreneurs in our community to break their own ceiling. Throughout this annual bilingual conferences, we facilitate workshops for women entrepreneurs to realize their ideas into a viable business, learn how to assess what the local Houston markets need. For the past two years, we have seen the growth of women entrepreneurship in our area, and we have supported at least 400 ladies in Houston. One of our successful women-owned business, for example, is Cascabel Salsa Gourmet, created by two Latinas that wanted to honor their grandmother's recipe and share with those that love a smoky, oil-based, spicy sauce. <laughs> this product was offered in local farmers' markets prior to our program, and they have now expanded to Whole Foods stores as well as local restaurants, increasing up to 15% of revenue during this pandemic. Another lady, for example, Maria Maso, who participated in our conference, she wanted to do something about the lack of investment towards women-owned businesses, and as well as minority-owned businesses in the city. So from the tools of our conference, she was encouraged to create the first Business Angel Minority Association in Houston to bridge the investment gap in minority-led startups as well as provide early stage investment education for first time investors. So overall, our activities have a ripple effect and our HCC Center for Entrepreneurship at the Southeast Campus is proud to be here, especially for the most often marginalized people and businesses, enabling them to break their barriers and follow and achieve their American dream. Thank you. Thank you, Brenda. David Regenbaum was our first entrepreneur in residence and he really brought the concept to HCC. He retired as a successful entrepreneur, sold his business and came to HCC as a full-time volunteer. He probably works 60 hours a week uh, helping in the uh, entrepreneurial center but also leading the HCC uh, foundation board. So his impact has been phenomenal. David share your program. Thank you. Thank you, Maya. When I arrived at HCC, my, I, I had just uh, sold my business and was now uh, able to live the American dream. My intention was to enable others to enjoy the same benefits that I've enjoyed since uh, I arrived in the country and I started the business. The first thing I did was to try and create a program for entrepreneurs. Our mission was to help uh, entrepreneurs launch and grow their businesses. And the program, which we entitled Small Business Success Series by HCC, consists of five modules. The first of which is a view of your, uh, your um, entrepreneurial 
personality. We used a, a test called the KAI to index your personality and then how best to use your personality profile in the creation of an entrepreneurial venture. The second module was taking your idea and developing it and uh, looking at it from a point of view of would it be profitable? Would it be lucrative? Is it an idea that is going to be successful? All of the program was based on your ideas and your personality so that the program was focused on you, not on some generic uh, case study. And on that basis, everything we did was related to you. The third module was marketing and sales. You cannot succeed without marketing your program, without selling your product or service and receiving the revenue from that. So the marketing and sales program was the third element in the, uh, in the program. The fourth element was financial. How much will it cost you to start and grow the business to the point of becoming profitable? We have uh, a program that does that works with your uh, particular idea. Looking at your idea, how much will it cost you to create the business and then to uh, build it to the uh, to the extent of being profitable? This was the fourth idea, and then finally we dealt with risk management. Risk is something entrepreneurs accept as the norm, uh, and most uh, entrepreneurs are risk tolerant. But that doesn't mean you need to take uh, risks that are unnecessary or that you cannot use functions to try and minimize your risk. So the last uh, module had to do with risk and risk tolerance. The program was designed for one uh, session every week for five weeks. It was a full day session from 8.30 to 5.00 and it covered all aspects of the particular topic. It was designed to uh, be totally interactive. It was not a lecture series. It was not something that was based on case studies. It was something that worked on your uh, particular idea and focused on your concept and your idea for business. The, the five one-day modules was very successful, but then along came the global pandemic, and we had to pivot into a different format. We looked at the various formats for the uh, program and decided on a three-part uh, po program for each session. So we had two hours on a Tuesday, two hours on a Thursday, and one hour between the two for uh, questions and answers. Each faculty was told not to take more than 20 minutes of lecture before pro providing an exercise or a breakout room. So it kept the program interactive and working well. Uh, we've just graduated a couple of weeks ago. The, uh, the uh, faculty, the cohort from this particular program, and it worked extremely well. We were very fortunate in having Wells Fargo fund the program for us. Until Wells Fargo came on the scene, we used, well, the, all the uh, faculty were volunteers, but when Wells Fargo uh, provided the funding, we were able to pay the faculty a stipend, and that has proved very beneficial, of course, to the faculty, uh, but to the program itself. Um, we are very proud of that program, and. My sense is that the feedback we've gotten from the attendees has been outstanding. Another venture that we have developed is our relationship with an individual in Houston, Mattress Mac. Mac McInvale, uh, Jim McInvale, is an entrepreneur in Houston. He is a humanitarian. He is an incredible uh, success story. He arrived here a couple of decades ago with his family and very little to uh, start a business, a furniture business, he started it and he has been extremely successful and has uh, been a tremendous humanitarian in the Houston area. During Hurricane Harvey, for example, he opened his stores and victims of the hurricane were invited to 
moved into the stores and he fed them and took care of them for a few weeks until they could find other accommodation or could go back to to the Houston market. He has joined with HEC in two separate programs. The first is a program that is the Mattress Max School of Selling. He believes that selling is the key to everything we do in life. And he has developed this program with uh, two of our faculty members, Kimberly Burrows, uh, who you will hear from, or you heard from, and also uh, Austin Tanet. The six modules in that program consists of listening. A salesman must listen more than talk. Persistence, the ability to say no, people skills, building a book of business, and what you learn after you know it all. These are the six modules that have been developed in that program. In addition to that, he has worked with our Workforce Commission, and he's turned a portion of his uh, signature store into a classroom and their teachers workforce programs construction welding all of the various factors that can help someone obtain a lucrative job in the houston market so uh, that is the kind of relationships that we build at houston community college for entrepreneurs and i am just excited to be involved in these programs and to be a part of what of the success of the Houston Entrepreneurial Venture. Thank you. Thank you, David. Sandra Louvier is the director of the Glenda and David Regenbaum Center for Entrepreneurship. And Sandra has been on the entrepreneurial journey with us since the very beginning, since 2009, and really has been with us through the entire success and one of her key skills is the ability to reach into the community and bring that community to HCC by the thousands. She really is a results oriented director. So Sandra, I'm turning it to you to share the business plan competition. Thank you, Maya. It's been a pleasure to be a part of HCC through our expansion and entrepreneurship and to work with David Regenbaum in the development of the Small Business Success Series by HCC. In fact, it's grown out of the business plan competition as well, and now has become a preparatory program for the business plan competition. The annual HCC business plan competition occurs every spring. It has a significant place in the historical journey of entrepreneurship at HCC because it was the first initiative that led to the creation of the Centers for Entrepreneurship. In 2008, Dr. Zachary Hodges, president of HCC Northwest launched HCC's first business plan competition, developing partnerships with the Houston business community and with business experts who joined the competition as volunteer advisors. This was the beginning of many long lasting business relationships, strategic partnerships and the growth of small businesses. Over the past 12 to 13 years, 350 teams have moved through the competition and opened or grew a business or waited for the right timing. Graduates of the competition rave about the experience, especially the group training sessions and one-on-one -on -one advising. They also love the group interaction and peer-to-peer -peer learning, and a lot of them build long-term bonds with their fellow business owners. Today, the competition contributes, continues excuse me, to provide five training sessions for contestant teams who attend with their advisors. Each team also gets one-on-one -on -one advising from entrepreneurs and experts throughout Houston. Participants work in teams and actively engaged in on-site and lately virtual group training. In fact, we pivoted during the competition from on-site events to virtual training and ended with a judging session and an, uh, an award ceremony virtually. Seed fund funding is awarded to the top five teams. However, the real prize is moving through the competition's training and one-on-one -on -one advising. This allows all graduating teams to leave the competition with refined and polished plans, a pitch video, and a slide deck to seek the funding they need to start or grow their businesses. Many contestants also stay in touch with their advisors as they take action to implement their plans. Funding for the competition continues through donations by local banks, community development financial institutions, business organizations, Houston Community College, and business plan competition alumni. 
We also have many sponsors who provide in-kind prizes and discounted support services to all graduating teams. The HEC Business Plan Competition is, a truly, is truly a community effort with year-round support from the SBA, SCORE, the SBDC, Mayor's Office of Business Opportunity, Houston Area Urban League, University of Houston, and many more. Our competition award ceremony is such a joy because it is a microcosm of the Houston entrepreneurial ecosystem in action with our competition advisors, trainers, sponsors, and resource partners surrounding our entrepreneurs with support. I'll close with an example of our HEC business plan competition alumni, Megan Eddings, the creator of Elevated Anti-Stinkwear. Axel Lifestyle is the first socially conscious, fashionable fitness apparel brand for people who sweat and want to smell fresh. Eddings invented a bacteria resistant, stink free material that ensures consumers are less likely to throw away their clothing. Megan won first place in 2018, opened in 2019, and pivoted big time in 2020. In addition to selling her apparel brand, she used her bacteria resistant cloth to produce face masks for hospitals in the Texas Medical Center. By June, that had grown to contracts with the US Navy, Navy SEALs, Marines, and nursing homes. We're proud to empower entrepreneurs like Megan and all of those who have moved through the competition, especially now when Houston area entrepreneurs need help to weather the pandemic, hurricanes, and the economic challenges we face as a community. HCC is grateful and we deeply appreciate the wonderful support from the local business community and our individual donors. And thank you, Nacy, for your support as well. Thank you, Sandra. And last but not least, Ravi Brambad, our Director of Entrepreneurship at our Southwest College, who has developed student hackathons and inventathons. And he is really loved and cherished by, by the students because of his can-do, will-do attitude. Ravi, it's yours. Thank you for the kind introduction, Maya. You're a wonderful mentor and a great advocate for our team. Honored to have the opportunity to work with you. Uh, today, the Office of Student Innovation and Entrepreneurship is based in, at the Southwest College Center for Entrepreneurship. Southwest College has five campus locations spread out across one-fourth of Houston's 600 square miles and the second highest enrollment amongst HCC six on-campus colleges. Our program closely works with the Center of Excellence for Digital and Information Technology and Advanced Manufacturing. Our signature programs promote the motto of building awareness and inspiring action, sparking a culture of innovation and care at HCC via student competitions and hackathons. We do this by incorporating project-based learning and scientific uh, literacy in our signature student programs, including the semesterly IDEAS, which stands for Innovation, Design, Entrepreneurship, Arts and Sciences Pitch Competition and through Inventathon at HCC, a student hackathon focused on rapid prototyping training. Our programs teach innovation skills of association, observation, questioning, experimentation, and networking. As Maya says, it's the people, and we stand on the shoulders of giant people, our students, who take the risk and engage with our programs. We pride ourselves on being cheerleaders for our students in the community. We believe in providing inclusive and equitable access to technology and entrepreneurship education, where our comp competitions prog programs reach everyone from 9 to 90 and beyond. We mentor students through a personalized path, guiding them through the evacuation process, teaching them to be resourceful and critical thinkers. Our students, like the inventor Jasim Bhatti, who won the Michelson IP writing contest after working with our office and submitting his first IP application. To the rock star Robert Ramirez, who overcame ADHD, started a digital motivation company and became HCC student keynote, sweeping thousands off their feet with his inspirational transformation uh, uh, no word of community into the message of common unity for student success. He really taught us to see and think differently. To the fearless Kanisha friend, Adula, who bravely pitched her business idea of an organic maternity gift basket for new mothers for the second time to a panel of male judges competing against other university MBA students 
ultimately winning the grand prize of $5,000 for her business. Lastly, our international health science student, Wee Lei, who after many failed attempts learned the important presentation skill, KISS, keep it short and simple, and slowing down. We today has won multiple student competitions, but also professional hackathons, both national and global, hosted by uh, AWS and Facebook. His app to detect malaria through comparative AI has earned him many scientific merits and led him into his PhD studying biotestistics. Yes, our international students are real innovators and change makers. We're proud to have them at the college and in our programs. We teach entrepreneurship as a kind and helpful profession, accessible to all who want to build skills, passionately solve problems, find gaps, and earn profits. By the way, our Inventathon at HCC students regularly open source all programming code aimed at solving UN sustainability goals, supporting crowdsourcing solutions for a cleaner, friendlier planet than we found it. So while I can go on forever, allow me to end by sharing that our community and our students are at the center of all our programs. We take great pride in building tomorrow's change makers at Houston Community College through building awareness and inspiring action. It's the people, it's our students. Thank you, Maya. Thank you, and there you are. That is, those are the, the, the directors of uh, entrepreneurship, and you can see their work is done with a lot of love and care. They don't work eight to five, they work because they are passionate and love this work. So thank you.